this short video, we will discuss the Sortino Ratio, how it is defined, the role of downside deviation, along with the advantages and disadvantages of using this metric. The Sortino Ratio formula follows the same reasoning as the Kalmar and Sterling Ratio. The reason behind the logic is that capital preservation is of the utmost importance and to look for a situation of low downside volatility rather than low volatility. For evaluation purposes, a higher ratio equates into a more efficient portfolio performance. The Sortino ratio was developed by Frank Sortino to differentiate the Sortino ratio was developed by Frank Sortino to differentiate between good and bad volatility. Sortino ratio considers the downside risks as the only source of volatility needed to be measured by an investor. By definition, the Sortino is closely related to the Sharpe ratio. The Sortino ratio compares the return of a portfolio with a chosen minimal accepted return and divides it by the downside semi-standard deviation, which measures only the volatility of the returns below the minimal acceptable return. In essence, the Sortino ratio only examines the standard deviation of losing months within a time series of returns and does not penalize a fund that has high volatility on positive returns. The Sortino ratio focuses on volatility of the returns when the portfolio loses money. The Sortino ratio can provide a measure of investment manager's performance relative to a minimal acceptable return. Where the Sharp ratio uses the standard deviation of returns to measure the volatility of a portfolio relative to the average return, the Sortino ratio eliminates upside volatility for this metric. For example, if I had a portfolio of returns for 12 months, I would only be using the negative returns, so the positive returns would be eliminated from my evaluation of volatility used in the denominator of this formula. The Sortino ratio is goal-oriented in that it measures performance relative to the goal of the investor trying to achieve. The Sortino ratio is a goal-oriented metric in that it measures performance relative to the goal of the investor and what he is trying to achieve in the market. The advantage of this ratio is that it eliminates volatility of positive returns in its calculation. The disadvantage of using this ratio is similar to the disadvantages of using the Sharpe ratio in that not all asset returns are normally distributed. Anomalies like kurtosis and fatter tails or skewness on the distribution can be problematic for this ratio as the standard deviation of the negative returns will as the standard deviation of the negative returns are not eliminated as a problem. Additionally, if negative volatility follows positive volatility, the investor could be unaware of issues if only looking at negative deviations.